This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 30th of August. I'm James Spann, still watching Isaac. This thing is just in no hurry to move out of here in a hurry. Let's check some of the Skycam shots, and as we have done in recent days, we'll start with our uh, Gulf Shores Skycam, and you can see the improvement there. Uh, it's still not a Chamber of Commerce day. The surf is very rough. you got double flags. Uh, but by the time the Labor Day weekend gets here, the weather should be fine. The sea will have calmed down Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So if you got a beach trip coming up, go down there and have some fun. Kind of work our way north. That's the uh, Selma Sky Cam. Low clouds over the Alabama River and the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And that's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Uh, this afternoon, a little light rain there, but not much. But this is kind of an ominous shot. That was from one of the uh, Twitter Army members uh, today in Livingston on the campus of the University of West Alabama. And when that image was made, there was a tornado warning for counties just across the Mississippi state line, only about uh, 15 miles from there. Uh, but again, uh, we've had no reports of any tornadoes in Sumter County. We did have one that touched down down in, Butler, in uh, Choctaw County, south of Butler near the town of Toxie. About 11 o'clock this morning. No injuries, but there was some damage. Well, that obviously, uh, Isaac is the uh, circulation story here in the Deep South. And again, there's a broad 588 ridge over us, and there's not much of a steering current to push this thing along. And that's the reason it's just not moved a lot. There's no strong trough to pick it up and take it out. Uh, there's the surface analysis coming off the ruck. Rapid update cycle model, and it's got it near Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, this afternoon, and of course, we're on that uh, nasty east side where you can see those feeder bands wrapping up into that thing. Uh, this was the tornado warning I mentioned. Uh, this was at 134. Uh, Livingston is very close to that. You can see Livingston over there in Sumter County in Alabama. That warning was in effect for uh, Lauderdale County in Mississippi. I uh, didn't hear of any damage from that, but that's the kind of you know deal we have with these tropical systems, small little rotation centers. They're there for about 10 minutes, and then they just go away. And we might see a few more of those, but I think the greatest chance will be off to the west in Mississippi. That's a broader radar view uh, showing the bulk of the rain today on the western side of the state. Rain over east Alabama, kind of spotty, and mostly south of I-20 over there. And for the football games tonight, high school football games, uh, opening night, obviously some light rain is possible, especially on the western side of the state. But I've seen hardly any lightning uh, on the network today. Uh, so hopefully the games will uh, be played without too much of a hassle. And even tomorrow night, there could be a few showers around, but hopefully the rain will not be too widespread. All right, there's the satellite perspective of our system. Isaac, center again around Monroe, Louisiana. Over on the dry side in Dallas-Fort Worth, it's just hot and sunny over there. For people headed to the football game, weather Saturday will be hot and dry. They'll be close to 100 and for those headed to Atlanta for the Auburn game, they'll be kind of showery on Saturday, but again, nothing heavy or really dangerous. Hey, check out the uh, rain totals coming off the Mobile Radar. Those are huge numbers. Uh, looks like the bullseye was a little uh, west of downtown Mobile. That's suggesting about uh, 17 inches of rain in through there. And you can see how the amounts taper off as you go farther east. Uh, Baldwin County certainly fared better than Mobile County with this storm in terms of the rain and the flooding. All right, what's left of Isaac will curve up through Arkansas, Missouri, and then uh, hook a right toward Indianapolis and uh, Columbus and Cincinnati uh, early next week. And, uh, of course, on that track, we kind of stay in the uh, muggy air for a while. Heaviest rain will stay west of the state uh, and north of the state. Uh, this is suggesting some really beneficial rain, some good things coming out of this for Arkansas, Missouri, up into Illinois and Indiana. And around here, that's suggesting rain amounts of about 1.25 to 1.5 inches. Uh, over the next several days. This is valid through, uh, let's see, Tuesday morning of next week at uh, 7 o'clock local time. All right, that's a tornado watch. That has been up since 7.15 this morning, and it's set to expire at 4 o'clock. So by the time you watch this, either they have extended that or it, it uh, expired. Um, but that includes much of central and west Alabama and much of Mississippi. And they might extend that, at least over the Mississippi side. Uh, there's the risk for the rest of today and tonight, the standard slight risk that includes about that area of Alabama where the watch was in effect over in the Mississippi and a small part of Arkansas and Louisiana. Tomorrow, the risk is west of here, the Mississippi Delta region, pretty good chunk of Arkansas up into southern Missouri. And again, like today, there could be a few small tornadoes in those feeder bands rotating around the center of Isaac. Hey, you got a new name out there, Leslie. So three on the board, Isaac, Kirk, Leslie. Uh, Kirk and Leslie are the newest storms out in the Atlantic, and don't worry about them. There's a look at uh, Kirk 
It's a hurricane now. Now, top wind 75 miles an hour. That's going to recurve, not bothering anybody. Leslie could become a hurricane by the uh, Labor Day weekend, but that should recur before affecting the United States. So at this point, we don't think either of those will be a problem. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Look at the 594 bubble starting to show up. Uh, you know, we're going to start to heat up here once we get Isaac out of the way, if we do. Uh, down below that, still kind of a, a cloudy day. A few passing tropical rain showers are likely. And again, it's not going to rain all day, but it could rain a time or two along the way. And the high should be in the mid to upper 80s with the clouds. Isaac is uh, on the Oklahoma-Arkansas border. Saturday, Isaac is over Missouri. And there could be a few scattered showers around. Mixture of clouds and sunshine, the high close to 90. That's the deal for Sunday and Monday as well. There's Sunday and Monday. Chance of any one spot getting wet will be about 1 in 3. Yes, the sun will be out at times, but again, it could rain at times. A very humid, tropical Labor Day weekend with highs pretty close to 90 for uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, we all go back to work. The weather doesn't change. Still kind of moist, but on Wednesday... Again, evidence that drier air drops in here from the north. Not cooler air, but drier air. And then a week from today, nice vortex north of us. And down below that, again, uh, not much moisture. So looks like Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, the chance of rain would be pretty small. Now, we'll check the end of the forecast, September 15th. And again, if you're looking for that first good, cool push of the fall like I always look for every year, well, that's not going to support it. That's got ridging in here, and that would be kind of warm and muggy with Scattered showers, kind of like the stuff we're expecting this weekend. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.